everyone, it's Rihanna and welcome back to another video. So today I have a DVD slash Blu-ray haul for you guys. I know you have been saying for the longest time that I need to buy Blu-rays and I've finally given in. It has been a hot minute since I've done a DVD haul. I've been pretty good with my spending on DVDs and Blu-rays but there are some things I just couldn't resist. So let's see what's in my recent pickups. First up, we have Mamma Mia, Here We Go Again, which was the sequel to Mamma Mia, obviously. I really, really enjoyed this film, even more so than the first film, I think. I feel like Mamma Mia didn't really call for a sequel, but it was such a massive hit that they thought, why not? It takes place, I believe, a couple of years after the original film and actually tells the story of how Donna met Sophie's three potential fathers. I really loved this one. It was so much fun. Lily James as a young Donna was just absolutely fantastic. I loved her. All the musical numbers here are great and Cher is in this movie, okay? Cher. What else do you want other than Cher? Obviously not going to be a movie for everyone but my boyfriend knew I wanted this, so he got it for me for Christmas, and thank God he did, bringing joy to my life for the rest of my life. <laughs> Up next is actually a TV series, and that is Killing Eve Season 1. This is a TV show created by Phoebe Waller-Bridge. It's based off a series of comics, and tells the story of Eve Palastri, who is a British MI5 agent who is called in to investigate a female assassin named Villanelle and her and Villanelle have this really strange connection where they kind of become obsessed with each other and it's this weird game of cat and mouse but it's so so good. We have Sandra Oh playing Eve Plastery and Jodie Comer playing Villanelle and they are both just fantastic. Season 2 comes out so so soon and I'm super duper excited for this. This was my favourite TV show of last year. I can't stop talking about it. I force everybody to watch it absolutely love Killing Eve. I haven't been this obsessed with a TV show in such a long time. It's so good. Now I did say this was a DVD slash Blu-ray haul. There aren't many Blu-rays but the first one I'm going to talk about is John Wick and John Wick Chapter 2. Now I did obviously see these when they originally came out in the cinemas. was a fan. Wasn't in love with them but I've come to love them over time. And I think maybe the day we got this Blu-ray we actually just spent the evening watching them back to back because the third one is coming out really really soon and I think the second viewing made me really really love these films. I mean Keanu Reeves is excellent, the fighting style's amazing, the action, like it takes a lot for me to enjoy an action film, like a lot. But I love John Wick. John Wick is stylistic and cool and the fighting's badass and just love it. Cannot wait for the third one to come out. And the other Blu-ray I have to show you guys is Thor Ragnarok. This is the third film in the Thor trilogy series. Not really sure what it is. Definitely one of my favourite Marvel solo films. 100% my favourite Thor film. Never really used to be a fan of Thor in the Avengers and his other films but Ragnarok made me love him. He's possibly my favourite Avenger now. This was directed by Taika Waititi and he just brings so much cool flair to this. I love his strikes and style, I love the action here, the colours, just the whole styling of it is so so great. It's entertaining, it adds to Thor's character, brings a lot more of the Norse mythology in there and just absolutely loved it. It's such a blast to watch and I'm so glad I made this purchase no regrets whatsoever. That was just the first of the Marvel films in this haul. The next one is Black Panther which was one of my favourite films of 2018. It is by far my favourite Marvel origin story. Even after seeing Captain Marvel, still my favourite. I love how it embraces Wakanda and the character of Black Panther, how it uses its styling. It's just so unique to any other Marvel origin story and just holds up after multiple viewings. Like I don't think I could watch Captain America the First Avenger again. A lot of people didn't agree with the fact that it got a Best Picture nomination at Oscars but I'm all for it. I think this film deserves all the recognition in the world. The cast, the production design, the music, the directing, everything was done so perfectly especially for a Marvel film. Like it was actually good filmmaking and just at a good standard for a good film not just a good Marvel film. It, there's a difference. And last but not least, in my odyssey of Marvel films in this haul, we have Avengers Infinity War. Endgame is right around the corner and I'm still not over Infinity War. This was super ballsy for Marvel to do. Like, the first Avengers film is still my favourite Avengers film, but after the travesty that was Age of Ultron, 
this totally stepped up the game. This film took risks, it took god knows how many different characters and made them all important to the storyline and just all work well together and to work with such a big cast like that, that's really difficult. You have to take each and every Marvel story and put it all into one film and that's just insane. I have no idea where Endgame's gonna go, I kind of don't want to know, I'm putting it off as much as possible until, you know, day of release. But yeah, Infinity War, ballsy, great film, loved it. Bit of a 180 from Avengers Infinity War, we have Lady Bird, which was directed and written by Greta Gerwig and stars Saoirse Ronan. It's a coming of age story that tells the story of Lady Bird, who's going through high school, about to go to college. She is rebellious, she is so much like her mother but doesn't want to admit it, and it's just a beautiful story of a mother-daughter relationship and growing up in Sacramento and kind of finding yourself in your hometown. And it just really hit a nerve with me. I love coming of age stories, but Lady Bird really, really hit me hard. This and The Edge of Seventeen were just great female coming of age stories. Absolutely loved it, deserved all the recognition in the world. Cannot wait to see what Greta Gerwig does next, just because Lady Bird hit me in the feels. There's so much variety in this all. Like, I go from one genre to the next genre, and none of them are the same. This just goes all over the place because <laughs> the next and last DVD I want to show you guys is It, which is obviously a horror film. Never in my wildest dreams did I think I would actually want to buy and own a horror film because you know that I'm not a huge horror fan, but I was a big fan of It. Obviously based off a Stephen King novel, but it is very reminiscent of all of the 80s TV shows and movies that I've watched. Like the gang in this are very similar to the gang in Stranger Things. They have similar chemistry and that's what I really really loved about this film. The child actors so so good in it, absolutely love them, I can't wait to see them in chapter 2, although I know chapter 2 bases itself off the adult story and has flashbacks to the kids, still cannot wait to see the kids again. I think it was a great horror film, like Bill Skarsgård was terrifying as Pennywise the clown, I think the cinematography was really eerie and it was very intense and yeah actually enjoyed a horror film. Never thought I would say it, but it actually made it on the very, very short list of horror films that managed to scare me, but I also really, really liked. I actually only watched this once in the cinema, so I'm really gonna have to rewatch this again before chapter two. So there you have it guys, that was my DVD slash Blu-ray haul. Let me know down below in the comments out of all the films I've mentioned, what you've seen and what you think. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. All my social media links are down below in the description if you wanna come follow me. My Twitter, Instagram, Letterbox, and Facebook are down there. And thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'll see you very soon, bye.